packages between us. This episode is remote because Gabe has been traveling and I don't want to get sick. <laughs> My voice is so low from like going to Sundance. I don't think I'm sick. I think I've just been talking a lot. And, um, but I, my Google Nest doesn't recognize my voice. <laughs> Cause it's, it's too sick. Yeah. It keeps being like, who the fuck is this? I don't want to have to redo it, but it already is not recognizing my voice from testosterone. So like when I talk to my Google Nest, I have to be like, hey, Google. <laughs> <laughs> you have to femme present for your Google Nest. <laughs> as terrified as I am of all the things you might have, have caught along the way, this week we'll be talking about the power of networking. And by the power, I mean the awkwardness, because you basically went to Sundance just to meet people to give you money. I went to Sundance Film Festival, and that's a film festival that was started by Robert Redford. It's very prestigious. And I went with my lead actor, Alex Blue Davis, and my producer, Laura Vogel, and we went to secure more funding for my movie, You and I, You and Me, which is gonna shoot in the spring. You guys have been sending money, which is amazing, but we basically need like also like bigger donors or investors, right? So finding investors for a movie is very weird because you have to like talk to people and befriend people, but you can't like openly yeah. be like, I can, right? Um, like how did you do it? Like at what, did you have like a go-to line that you would use? I would just say we're looking to secure more funding. Or I would say like, yeah, we just need like, you know, it's always good to have more money. Just when I say the description of the movie, people's eyes light up. Like they like it a lot. The That's premise great. is a trans guy and a trans woman are writing music and they fall in love. Basically, she used to be Justin Bieber. She transitioned. She lost her whole career. Uh, and he was like in a bikini kill type band, like lesbian band. And he transitioned, but he has like substance abuse issues. So they're kind of both need a second chance and his dad pairs them up to write her a hit record and they hate each other and then they fall in love. Just a classic enemies to lovers story. We love it. You have to have like a pitch. And then when you say the the thing, you know, the, the pitch, people like it, but then sometimes they'll say, oh, how much are you looking for? And it's interesting to find out. Some people were saying, cause our budget's like 350, right? But some people said it might be easier to ask for a million, which is so wild. Why? What's they, the reasoning? Because I guess they think it'll be more quality. Mm. I had a friend who shot their movie, not Leland, who shot their movie for 300. That like was critically acclaimed. But when people ask them what it costs, they say a million. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? To me, it would be more amazing to have shot it for less. But I think they want to seem like a serious filmmaker. I have a question, like, because at Sundance, there's just like all these parties, all these events, like, how do you even determine who would have money to give to you rather than people that are there like you looking for money? I talked to multiple people, like I, I looked, I found people who looked a little bit older. I went to events that were like for patrons and, and, and filmmakers. They had events for that? Yeah. Like I would weep, like worm my way into conversations if I thought the person or if I found out like. If, if someone was throwing the event, and I knew a lot of people already. So if someone was throwing the event, I would go up to them and I'd, they'd be like, hey, and I'd be like, hey. And then I'd be like, okay, who here has money? <laughs> and then they would be like, okay, that person. And I'd be like, on it. Were you nervous? Yeah. This is my nightmare, what you're describing. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. I mean, it's a lot of people's nightmare. You know, in my history of like trying to get things in entertainment, it it's a long game. It's hard because, you know, there's an actor that I want for my film. He knows that I want him. He has reading the script. Um, but when I go to dinner with him, I can't, I'm not talking about that at all. Like good enough friends, you go to dinner with him? I saw him in New York. No, we're not friends. Like I saw him in New York briefly and then I went to his house like twice. So you can't like just be like, be in my movie, even though he knows. You're just sort mm -hmm. of feeling out each other's vibe. The thing is, is that I, I know a lot about movies. One thing for networking is I know a little bit about a lot of things. Mm. So like if someone's like, my movie is about this, but I haven't seen their movie, I know about what it's about. So I can talk to them. And people want to talk about themselves. So I almost yeah. never say anything about myself. I ask them. 
And then when they finally like realize they've been talking for 40 minutes, they go, what do you do? And then I kind of slide <laughs> it in there, which I know sounds difficult for me, but I do it. Right. So you're waiting, you're like, you're playing like a long game within the conversation before you even bring up what you want. Yeah. And, and then I, what's the next move? Do you get like a business card or their email? I, I get their business card or they take my business card. You have um, a business card? Physical business card. I what know. does it say on it? It says the name of the movie. It has a picture of Jesse and Alex. It says written by, written, directed by me. And then on the back, it has like a description of the movie, a QR code, my info and Matt's info. Oh, that's so smart. Who told yeah. you to do that? Me. And other people have told me to do it. But I, what I would change about that is that I would have put a picture of myself oh. because how are people going to know? I'm going to just take a picture of me and send it in the email <laughs> and just be like, hi. Well, maybe you could put in the signature. Yeah. And I'll be like, here's, I almost want to be like, here's a photo of me in case you don't remember who I am. <laughs> I think that's kind of charming. I think so too. Yeah. So you didn't get like any money at Sundance. Now it's about following up and like continuing the networking relationship. Yes. But there are people who are fun. Like one of my friends, I have a friend who's a filmmaker who's wonderful. And there was like this brunch and she brought me around, and introduced me to all these people that are like literally just that. This is what's great is that there are certain people that are just direct, like, my friend was like, this is a financing company. And I was like, hello. And then I just told them my pitch. And then I was like, and they're like, great, we might have money for that. Like, that's like very direct. Yeah. There's also like so many things to, to take into consideration. Like there's this one production company that I love. I love all the movies they've made. They're based in Chicago and they will make your movie if it's in Chicago. And I love them. So I'm like, <laughs> should I shoot in Chicago? It's really nice. There's a lot of places that, want to help like marginalized groups or like want to help not even marginalized groups, but like social justice ideas. Uh, so, like yeah. there's one place that they like, you know, are big on like in incubating that kind of thing. One thing I noticed is that a lot of the, the places that were like looking to give funding are interested in climate change stories. That seems to be the next big thing is like films that are like, Hey, climate change is bad. Yeah. So if you're interested in writing some sort of apocalyptic climate change movie, that seems to be what the people are funding. I can't think of anything I'd want to watch less than that. It's very much like, well, it's interesting because like these companies are involved, right? So there's like a company that, or not a company, an organization that's like a climate change organization. Mm. And they're like, we'll help you with your movie. Or Planned Parenthood was there. Planned Parenthood was there. And they were like, if your movie has any sort of like reproductive rights bent to it, we can help you. Planned Parenthood is just producing stuff? They're helping. Wow. And they give consultations. Like if you have like an abortion scene or something, they'll tell you if it's accurate or not. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so my final question is, how do you know when to end the conversation? Like, how do you know when to walk away? I get out early. I don't ever want to overstay my welcome. So I'm very much like, here's my card. If you want to talk more, let me know. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. That's smart. Never overstay. In and out. Once you're done with the chit chat and you're onto the business, then you peace out. Mm -hmm. Leave them wanting more. Yeah, I don't want to ever be like lingering. I want them to be like, wow, that was great. And then get out of there. How many emails do you have to send now that you're back? About 45. More. <laughs> 100 million. It's like, and I'm going to take a different photo every time. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Just send a series of all of those to everyone. Yeah, like a gift. Also, uh, we got some really nice people, like, so it's like reaffirms that I'm gay famous, but a lot of people came up and they were super complimentary about this show, by the way, about JBU. Oh, really? Yeah, I told you about the woman who said that she would show her father in hospice our videos and that he called us ridiculous. I know, I was like, it doesn't seem like he liked the videos, but no, it's he, so He would so laugh, kind. she said, he would laugh. Oh, really? Like, he would, she said he would be like, show me the ridiculous girls. <laughs> I know. I almost, I was like crying. It was really a lot. And then the star of one of these movies like came and was like, oh my God, I love JBU. Yeah, it's crazy. It was really Well, you're wild. watching right now. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Also, Phantom was here the whole time. Oh my God. <laughs>